Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Vietnam Helicopter Museum alleges discrimination. Glime Aviation launches Glime Virtual Cockpit. Chicago Alderman may disband Aviation Police Force. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's April 25th and this is Airborne Unlimited. A claim of discrimination has been filed against Contra Costa County, California by the Vietnam Helicopter Museum, which alleges that the county has discriminated by repeatedly blocking attempts to lease a hangar at Buchanan Field. Pacific States Aviation, the Conco Companies, and the museum first attempted to rent a 39,000 square foot hangar in December. The museum ranked third in the process. They filed an informal complaint with the FAA in January when the county refused a 2015 request by the former hangar tenant to transfer ownership of the hangar and assign the lease to the museum. They claimed the county continued its discrimination by rejecting another bid by the hangar made by the VHM in May and soliciting other bids. Conco Companies was eventually selected. VHM also claims that the airport has a policy of discriminating against helicopters in general. In a letter dated January 12th to Keith Freitas, Director of Airports, Attorney Gerard Murphy wrote that since 2010, you and other representatives under your management of Buchanan Field Airport have expressed the arbitrary policy of the airport or specific hangars as not permitting helicopters. The airport contends that it has treated the Vietnam Helicopter Museum fairly and has acted in accordance with federal regulations. Glime Aviation has released the Glime Virtual Cockpit. The all-in-one simulator platform, when used in conjunction with the Glime X-Plane flight training course, offers a home simulator platform with a fully interactive training program. Glime Aviation's Paul Duty said, quote, The Glime Virtual Cockpit is a chance for pilots to practice and improve proficiency, and that's what pilots want most. The design includes an articulating tray table that is designed to easily attach peripherals such as yokes, flight sticks, racing wheels, and accessories with pre-drilled mounting holes a removable center tray that can securely hold a joystick, a side tray designed to hold a throttle quadrant, trim wheel, mouse, or other accessories, an articulating foot or pedal tray. The unit is compatible with a variety of peripherals. The monitor mouse can hold three screens up to 32 inches and uses universal adapter brackets. The Glime Virtual Cockpit sells for $549.95, which completes the home simulator training experience when used with Glime X-Plane Flight Training Course. The interactive course fully integrates flight lessons from the Glime Private Pilot Syllabus with the ultra-realistic X-Plane 10 simulator. After the break, the United Airlines scandal continues to make waves. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Progressive Aerodyne's Sea Ray Elite offers turbocharged Rotax Power and Garmin G3X Touch Avionics. Incredibly well equipped, you can fly away in this best in category Amphib for less than $160,000. Visit CRA.com for more details. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Chicago Alderman Ray Lopez has introduced legislation in the City Council that would essentially disband the Chicago Department of Aviation Police Force. Three officers of the force were involved in dragging a passenger off a United Airlines flight, and videos of the incident captured by the other passengers went viral, causing serious backlash for the United Airlines. The order introduced by Lopez, a former Skycap, would mandate that the Chicago Police Department and the Department of Aviation identify a means of consolidation of the two units and establish a 60-day timeline for the creation of a singular local law enforcement entity at Chicago's O'Hare and Midway airports. Department of Aviation officers have arrest powers, but they do not carry guns. They traditionally operate as secondary uniform police force at O'Hare. 
there would be a considerable cost associated with consolidating the two entities. Chicago police officers earn considerably more than the aviation police and require more training. The aviation police force costs about $19 million per year and has 292 employees. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. A vital part of the sport aviation world, let's look at a few of the upcoming events from the soaring world. First off, coming up this May 5th through 7th is the Cell Plane Community's Eastern Vintage Classic Regatta in Benton, Tennessee at the Chilhawee Glider Port. There will be tows and other flight operations provided by Chilhawee Soaring Association, Inc. The 2017 Sports Class Nationals are coming up May 20 through 28th in Reedsville, Pennsylvania. This is a nine-day contest with Monday, May 29th, designated as a reserve day to be used only if necessary. This is a no-water contest. Either a glider-mounted ELT or GPS tracking device is required. FLARM is recommended, but not required. This year's Western Vintage Classic Regatta takes place on May 26 through 29th in Tehachapi, California, at the Mountain Valley Airport. Tows and flight operations, as well as camping facility, are being provided by Skylark North. After these messages, the H-145 gets more power. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Airbus has extended the flight envelope of the H-145 by enhancing the helicopter's one engine and operative capabilities. With the increased power, the light twin helicopter H-145 can accommodate two additional persons or fly longer distances during a mission which requires human external cargo operations. Airbus has delivered the first ever A321neo. The latest generation aircraft powered by CFM International's Leap 1A engines was handed over to Virgin America. After Virgin America having been the first customer signing for the A320neo back in December 2010, we are today delighted to deliver the first A321neo to them, said Fabrice Brogy, Airbus COO and President Commercial Aircraft. A travel ban on certain countries and tighter security measures proposed by President Donald Trump have lowered demand to travel from Mideast to the U.S., according to Emirates. That's why the carrier has slashed flights to the United States by 20 percent. The FAA will hold three public workshops in late April on proposed airspace improvements over Las Vegas. Part of the Metroplex project, they propose to use streamlined satellite navigation to move air traffic more safely and efficiently. The project includes McCarran International Airport, North Las Vegas Airport, Henderson Executive Airport, and Nellis Air Force Base. Jeppesen recently agreed to a five-year digital service agreement with Tunis Air, the national carrier of Tunisia. Jeppesen will provide Tunis Air with Flight Deck Pro electronic flight bag on iPad, Taylor charting services, and Ops Data Aircraft Performance Management tools. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. It's getting ugly out in the airline biz. A scuffle erupted at Kansas City International Airport between a passenger and an off-duty American Airlines pilot who had been on the same flight on April 12th. Court documents say that 49-year-old Edward Foster of Kansas City, Missouri got into an altercation with the unidentified pilot. The video shows Foster shoving the pilot twice. The incident reportedly began on the airplane when Foster said that the pilot was taking up too much room on the aisle and being disrespectful. The pilot was a passenger on the aircraft. 
Once in the terminal, Foster reportedly tried to take a picture of the pilot's badge. The pilot raised his hands to get the phone out of his face. That's when Foster allegedly shoved him. Foster also allegedly followed the pilot out to the pickup area to get a picture of the vehicle's license plate. Initially, the pilot said he would not press charges, but he went back to the airport the following day and talked with the airport police. He had lacerations on both legs and a bruise on one forearm, according to the report. Foster was charged two days after the incident for intentionally inflicting bodily injury. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.